Hey all, this is Dr. Megan Marie DeLegas, physical therapist from Megan Marie PT. I am gonna go over a posture benefiting exercise for you today. What you'll need is a big round band or a band with the handles at the end. Doesn't matter which. Usually these come in a pack of four or five and you would wanna do something with low resistance. And what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna get yourself in a squat position or stance. So that means hip width or wider, whatever works for you and your toes slightly turned out unless you have a specific squat stance that works well for you. If you need to elevate your heels a few inches, that is totally fine. That'll help you get lower in your squat if you don't have some of the range of motion to do it without a heel raised. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna gather the two ends, and if you have the band with the, with the handles, you're just gonna let them flop over. And you're gonna get into a squat position. You're gonna get yourself situated, and then you're gonna hold that band, and you're going to, with both hands, bring it up. You wanna get to a point where your, fore, or your, um, your arms are parallel to the floor. And you're gonna hold it there until you get to around eight out of 10 subjective fatigue level. Okay. Sometimes people will do repetition. Sometimes I'll recommend that too. Usually I'll recommend that in a different position. But for here, just holding it is a good challenge. And what that does is it encourages the postural muscles to engage. When we use our arms in any sort of protraction or a forward moving position or overhead position, we are encouraging the muscles that attach the shoulder blade and the shoulder, the ribs, and even around the spine to engage. And so when we are moving in an upward direction in any variation, we are also forcing our mid back or the vertebrae of the mid back to lift or to get extension. So we are using muscles to create movement and mobility. And so what I usually encourage people to do with something like this is to do it at the end of any sort of mobility session or instead of a mobility session. So if you're foam rolling, that's fine. That may not be enough. It usually isn't. What you need is typically something active and something that's going to get you fatigued. So like I said, when I was doing it, aim for an eight out of 10 difficulty or fatigue level. So perhaps depending on the band that you're using, it might be 15 seconds or it might be 45 seconds. So get to a certain level of fatigue, take a break, perhaps 30 seconds to a minute, and then do it again three to five times. Um, this is a preference. I like to do it with a band because it's easy to have, but you can do it with a weight, whether it's a dumbbell or a kettlebell and you're holding that squat position or goblet position. And that's, that's effective as well too. So give it a try. If you have questions, just shoot them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram at meganmarie underscore PT or check out my website at meganmariept.com.